Hello, in this video I will show you how to use Builderall's blog in order to post your affiliate link to any article of the blog onto social media. It can be Twitter, Facebook or other things, even your WordPress blog. Okay, use Builderall blog as a source to post automatically all new articles that come out from this blog. So you don't have to create content. The content is created for you by Builderall and you will promote the article, but each article will be your affiliate link so that when people on social media click on your link, they go to the blog, they read the article. If they uh, join uh, Builderall, they are cookied with your affiliate cookie. So you, they will be your customers. Uh, you will earn commission on uh, Builderall, what they pay. Quoi. So the blog of Builderall, you can, you can go to it. Uh, you know, you click on the menu blog and you have here this icon, the orange icon, which is RSS feed. It's a list of all articles in the blog. So each time a new article is published on Builderall's blog, it will be added at the top of this list. So this list is just a text file which is automatically updated. So you, we will use this as a source for our automation tool. So the automation tool I use is called Pebly Connect. It's like a Zapier, if you know. Um, Pebly, why I use this one is because I can uh, I have a lifetime deal. I paid once and I can use it forever as long as the company exists and I have um, 30,000 tasks per month. Each month it goes back to a reset. So anyway, but also you can uh, have this one uh, as a monthly subscription and it's way, way cheaper than Zapier and it does exactly the same and uh, exactly as good as Zapier. You know, it's like iPhone and Android or Apple and uh, Microsoft for the price of Zapier. That's it. Um, so, in, uh, when you have a public connect, you create a workflow. Let's call it uh, Publish Builder All Blog. So, I will show you the, the step I take. First is the trigger. What, when will this workflow be executed? It is with RSS. You know, the, the icon is the same RSS. And uh, the trigger event, there is only one. When there is a new item in the feed, it will trigger. Then they ask you uh, the URL of the feed. So you go to the blog and you click on this uh, icon. So I do right click and copy the link. And I go back, I put it here. Okay, now save and send the test request. So we have at least one example. It, it will uh, take the last item, so the last article. And you can check it's how to promote your local business online on the 18th of June 2022. And if we go to the blog, the last article is how to promote your local business online on 18th of June. Yeah. So it's correct, it's working. And so when there is a new item in the future, it will, uh, this workflow will run, it will take the last article and it will get the information. So the title and the link of the article, the date of publication and other things. But really what we are interested in, it's only the title and the URL of the article. Because in our post in social media, we will say, uh, uh, hello, uh, read uh, this uh, new uh, article titled and we put the title and we put the link. So, so and of course, our, the link needs to be modified because at the moment, this is a direct link to the article. We need to make it as an affiliate link. Uh, and for this, I will show you later. But first, the, the first thing I, I like to do myself is once it's triggered, I, I add a delay because I don't want the workflow to be executed immediately. Why is that? that it's because the RSS feed is checked every eight hours. And imagine, for instance, that uh, uh, one staff at Builderall wants to publish free articles. And it's already written and they publish them all free. The next time this RSS feed is checked, 
it will see that there, there are three new articles. So the workflow will run three times and concurrently. So at the same time, it, it will run three times. And if in this workflow we want to post on social media, it means that it, uh, it will post three times mm -hmm. at the same exact time or about a few seconds in between. And what is wrong with that is that uh, uh, on social media, when you have a, you know, when you have a, a, a quota, you can post, for instance, every one, once every minute or other, other limits like this. So if you post at once three times, it will block. So in fact, it will, you, you will um, go over your quota. And anyway, in all instances, it can be for Facebook or for Twitter or for other things. There are, there are always quota and you don't know exactly what they are. You can look for, for it, but doesn't matter. Me, what I like to do is that as soon as the workflow starts, the first thing is I put a delay and how long is this delay is not uh, fixed. Because if it was fixed, like say five minutes, it's uh, the same story. Uh, each workflow uh, starts, wait for five minutes and execute and try to post at the same seconds. So it's not good. You need to delay in a random, random way. Because really, we don't need to post as soon as, as the, the RSS feed is checked. We don't need to post in, in the minute. So since it's every eight hours, we can uh, make a random number, a number of minutes to wait. It, it could be from uh, one to six hours. It doesn't matter. I hope you understand why I do that. So the next action I want to do is first, I want to generate a random number. Let's say from one to 300. So it will be from zero, I mean, for one minute or uh, five hours. You know, we, we stay within the eight hours run of the RSS feed. So to generate this random number, the next action I choose is called, um, I think it's text formatter, so in, or number formatter. Uh, no, I think, I think it's number formatter, but I'm not sure. One or the other, we will see. And we want to do, uh, do they have a random number? No, they don't have an easy random uh, number. So what we can do is take uh, the spreadsheet formula. It's a formula uh, that we use in spreadsheets such as Excel or Google Sheets. And the, the formula is the same. So you, you can have the full list of uh, formulas that you can use to create anything with the spreadsheet formulas. But I know the, the one, it's uh, called the rand between, the one to, to create. So I say I want a random number between one and let's say, um, uh, so I, I need to calculate, let's say six hours, six times 60 is, uh, maybe 360 so you know I want a number and every time it's so we we have to save and test and we will see the result for this run here the result is 2 if we do it again the result is 299 again 89 so you see every time it will run it will be random so there is there are a few chances that it will be the same for let's say two new articles, the two workflow run, and they fall on the same number, random number. It's uh, less chances that it happen. So that's why I do that. So the next action is to wait a delay. So it's here, delay, and delay for in minutes, and the delay value, value is the one we got as a random number. So we need to take the result of the action number two. So we click here and we go to action number two and we take the result. And this is a variable, so it will be always different. And we save and test. So success delayed for 89 minutes in this case. And then we can start the process, the real workflow. What we do with the RSS feed, the new articles that we got. The first things we have to do, as I said, is to transform the URL from the the one we got from the RSS feed into um, uh, affiliate link. 
So for this, we, we need to do uh, two things. The first one is to, to take the URL of the, the article here, and we need to URL encode it, which means that, you know, in URLs, you have some characters that cannot be, um, I mean, some characters are forbidden in a URL, especially at the end of the URL. So by URL encoding it, it will transform some characters that are forbidden, it will transform them into a code that is uh, allowed. So the first, since we need this URL to be part of a bigger URL, this URL here needs to be URL encoded. So the first things we do is to URL encode this. So after the delay, we do that. Uh, here again, I don't know if, I don't remember if it's a text formatter or number formatter, but I think it's text formatter. Let's try it. And the action, yes, URL encode or decode a given URL. So that's the one. We put the URL that we got from the RSS feed. So it's uh, in the first action here, we have the link. So we put this as the URL. And then uh, convert space to plus. Um, I think we, we can let this like this or put false, it doesn't matter really. I don't think it matters. So let's say false. And the uh, URL encode or decode? We want to encode it. Try, try that. Hmm. And we get this result. So me, as I know that is, I know the rules. I think that this is not correct. I don't like it because I see that they didn't URL encode the forward slash. So I think here we should have let it to true. Let's try. So this is better. This is more like uh, when I see a URL encoded. It's, it's like this. So here convert space to plus. Don't uh, don't change it. Let's do it to true. And here now we have the result. The URL encoded URL, and and we need to use this in our affiliate. So this is good. And the next step is to create our affiliate link. So for this, I think it's again a text uh, formatter. And uh, concatenate means uh, to, to add. So do they have it? Replace text, split text, text parser. No, they don't have it. Um, so, so if it's not this, I think we'll use a number formatter. It's always the same. In fact, you know what? We don't need that. So I'm sorry because I'm, I'm thinking what is the end result we want. And so I will show you immediately. In fact, we don't need this action. We can delete it and make another one. Because now that we have the URL encoded part, uh, to create our affiliate link, it's easy. We have one, the beginning of the URL should be the affiliate link, and the end should be this URL. So we can create this link uh, when we post, you know, when we post on social media, we can create this link. We just have to put them um, together. So we could do that here. We could create a text that is uh, full, the full affiliate URL, but we can also do it directly into the, the post to social media actions. So to not to lose you, uh, I will just do now the final one. So that means posting. So I will choose Facebook. Facebook group. So we have uh, many things, uh, pages, but Facebook group, Select post a message or post a photo, post a video, post a message, connect. So here you have to create the connection to to your um, Facebook account. But I already have one, so I select it. And now I need to choose my group. Of course, it's a group. You need to be uh, the admin of this group. But this is the same on uh, Zapier. Or so I will choose this one. Build all affiliate, just do all. And now we can do the message and the link.
So the message I will show you uh, later, but the link now we have to do is to concatenate, to, to put together. So I will show you what is what comes in front. In the link, we need this. Okay, if you can read it, it's always the same. Office.budol.com slash US slash franchise slash share slash uh, this is uh, your Builderall user ID that you can find in your profile, in your Builderall account. And then interrogation mark, question mark, P1 equals RD and P2 equals, and what you expect here, it's um, the final URL. So here it will be the um, URL encoded URL of our article. So this, like this. So this is a full URL and it's affiliated to me. Now, in the message, so you understand with this, what I put in link, I put the first part of the, of the link, which is a redirection to this last part, to this article. And it's before redirecting, it sets my affiliate cookie on a, as a builder all affiliate. You know? So that's what, and when I, what I talked about before, it was to create a new action to create this full link. So it will have just been to, to create a text which has the first part and the second part all together. And so in this case, in the link, we will just use the action number five. It will be the concatenation and it will be the result, the result of this concatenation. But here I just do it directly into the field. And it's the same in the message. I could write a message and again put this link I will do the same, I will write this and with no space after the equal sign at the end, no space and you put the result of action 4 which is the action which URL encode our link that we got from uh, the first trigger, the RSS feed, you know. But here in this message I will keep it simple, I will say um, hello, hello, here is the newest articles on Builderall's blog. Enjoy! Like this. And uh, here I can put a quote and I will put the title of the article that we got here. How to promote your local business online. And here, after, I could uh, put other things. Um, like uh, if you... I mean, what is this? If you if you would like would like to know more about Builderall, you're welcome to contact me uh, with your question, or or just go to um, and now I put my other links, which is um, justdoall.com, which is just a site to promote uh, Builderall and experience it uh, for yourself yeah. and this will, will create uh, clickable links once it's in the uh, in the Facebook uh, post so I think it's nice it's a nice message short and there is a link affiliate link to uh, the article so now it's good I will just save and test it to see if it works so it will post on the, the group So the, the answer to this is just an ID. And in fact, it's the ID of the new post that has been created. So I will uh, go to uh, Facebook and see how this post looks, if it's correct. So it, it has worked. So I show you the, the post here. So this is my group, uh, just wall. And here I have, uh, donc, so myself, it has been posted by Pebly Connect. You say, hello, here is the newest article on Builderall blog. Enjoy how to promote your local business online. And in fact, this image is taken from the blog. So you don't have to create an image. It's just when they post an article, they put an illustration image and it will show on your, on your uh, message. And you see, if you would like to know more about Builderall, you're welcome to contact me with your question or just go to, and this is a link, and experience it for yourself. But if they click here, so you see it's... Um, a builder blog it's a, it looks uh, looks good i don't know if you can see it at the bottom maybe i will zoom in 
but when I pass the, the mouse here, you can see at the bottom it says um, office.builder.com slash us slash franchise slash share slash my ID and p1 equals rg, p2 equals and you have the URL. So it, it is an affiliate link and Facebook just go to the final uh, link, the article and pulls the title and the image. So when I click on it, I will, it will just redirect. So set my affiliate cookie and redirect to the, the page of the article directly. So from here now, uh, visitors, the one who have clicked, they have my affiliate cookie. So if they click on anything like home or, or on the side or anywhere, if they take a builder role, it will be as me, I will be the affiliate. So you see, and I, so that's the end of uh, the demonstration. You can see that it works. And of course, now, now that we have this, if we were on, a, I mean, if we were on, a, we have posted on, a, on Facebook, then we can add an action to post on Twitter. So you can see here when we search for app, we can, there, there is Twitter. Um, I don't know other things, but for instance, WordPress, you know, you, you have WordPress, so you can post on your blog a, a, a message and a link to this uh, blog every time, uh, to the Builder All blog, every time a new article is posted. So I, I don't know other, uh, I mean, uh, I don't know, Telegram, you have Telegram, you have uh, uh, WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp, uh, I don't know how to spell it. Okay, so you have some things about WhatsApp and many things. In fact, you have a uh, thousand of integrations with a uh, lot of things. You can send an email or you, you know, you can do a lot of things. Of course, uh, well, it's up to you for your imagination, but let's say I will do a Twitter one, maybe. For the Twitter, then you say uh, uh, create tweet. Okay, connect. So uh, do I have, a, oh, yes, I have a connection. And here is the same. Uh, so you see here in this one, we have only a message. So we need to construct the link into the message. So I will say hello, uh, hello, um, or not, not even hello, I will just write, uh, the, let's say the title, title of the article, two points, and uh, I will uh, again do this, make, put the link here, the first part of the link, and add the text formatter you are encoded so I will take the result of this okay and this will be my message I can I can try it uh, again so I, I do it and I will go to my uh, Twitter so what what do they say Twitter they say created at na -na, so so it has been created uh, I don't know if I can find it okay so maybe Twitter uh, uh, is not so good because uh, look at it. It works, but uh, it just uh, it doesn't put the image. So to make to make an image, you could choose another uh, things in the Twitter uh, action. You know when you should I, I just say write send a message, post a message. But I could say post a message with an image, and then for the image, you know there are other things to do so that the image is always different, or you can even fetch the image from the blog. All this is possible with uh, automation. I will not show you, but I, I already did it for other things. I will not show you here because it's not the point. But here you have a simple message and a link, affiliate link to the article. So it st still works. If you want to do it better, you have to know that it's possible with uh, with uh, Pebble Connect or Zapier. And I've done it already. It's, uh, it's very powerful because this is a simple one, straightforward only does this, 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 but you can put conditions in the workflow. Let's say, uh, you know, if you don't like the, this article, you say this title article is too short, then I don't post it. You could do that. Yeah. Or you could do, if it's too short, then I post it on uh, Facebook, uh, um, other things. But if it's uh, not too short, I post it on Facebook and all, all my other uh, social media. You can do condition like this or just stop the workflow if a condition that you like is not met. 
So it's finished for this tutorial. If you want uh, to have a Pebbly Connect as a lifetime deal, you can check in the description of this video. Or if you want uh, builder or other things, you can contact me. Bye bye.